Hi everyone. So I've always liked playing as machine intelligence. These empires are incredibly strong and there's some really rich role playing elements. So if you've played these guys before, and let's face it, you'll know that there are three different ethics that have a huge effect on the game. Namely, these are the Determined Exterminators. Now these are really fun and powerful, but you can't engage in diplomacy. I believe you can actually engage in diplomacy with other machine empires, but just not organic empires. The other problem is, sometimes your prey will gang up on you and this can actually cost you the game. So to get around this, you really want to attack the enemy as quickly as possible. We've also got the Driven Assimilators, and they're really fun to play. I always imagine them to be a bit like the Borg from Star Trek. Again, these guys can engage in diplomacy. Other empires are actually quite friendly to these guys. Even though you can kind of imagine the other empires are secretly dreading being assimilated. Now, my personal favourite of the three are the Rogue Servitors. And they don't want to exterminate or assimilate, but they want to perform mandatory pampering on the aliens that they capture and start with bio trophies. I can really imagine a civilization inventing robots that slowly take over everything, leaving the original builders to sort of lounge around in spas and ball pits and playgrounds, only to find eventually, when they decide to actually do something, that they've got absolutely no political power and that everything is being done by the robots. In fact, I can also see a species evolving to be more pet-like. A cage is a cage, even if it is a gilded Nicholas cage. I wanted to share with you guys today a really powerful combination, which I kind of stumbled on mostly by accident. Just go with machine and choose any machine you like. Traits. You either want to go for something which is going to give you extra minerals or extra growth or energy, really, any of those three are going to be really, really good, but I recommend the minerals because you can never have too many minerals with this build, so I've gone for mass-produced and minerals because we're going to need lots of robots and lots of minerals. Government and ethics. We are going to be a rogue serviator, and I've gone for rock breakers again, so let's have a little look at our bio trophy, which of these guys. Uh, again, choose anything you want pretty much, but what you need is you want the uh, gaseous byproducts. It means that your species will create a very small amount of exotic gases. And anything else you really like, um, I've gone with docile and uh, traditional. So for the origin for this particular build, we're going to go for Shattered Ring. Now this is an incredibly powerful combination because you can get basically as much research as you want in the early game and you can pull ahead of everyone else. So okay guys, we've gone into a game and let's have a little look. Right, so I don't know why, but we, come, we get um, an agricultural segment even though we don't actually need any food because our uh, organic population are lithoids and they're gonna need minerals instead but it doesn't really matter whether you have one of these or not but well, what we're interested in is the research segment now you may notice that in order to build the research segment we need exotic gases now ordinarily in the game you don't get uh, these gases till say the midpoint it would ordinarily take you quite a long time to build a research segment but as you guys can see, I've actually started off with volatile moats, with exotic gases and with rare crystals. Now, I don't know why exactly uh, we have all three of these, but you're pretty much guaranteed to have exotic gases from the beginning. So all you need to do is buy 200 of these exotic gases and you can build a research segment. And the research segment's going to take a lot of your population but it's going to produce a huge amount of research so let's have a little look at a game that i started earlier guys we're going to go back to our ring world and as you can see i don't have any agricultural segments this time but what i do have is research segments and nexus segments what you're going to have to do to actually manage your population and to make sure that not too many people go into research 
is you're really going to have to limit the number of researchers that you have. So at the moment, I just integrated two other empires. So I've only got one uh, person in research. But nevertheless, as I get more energy, you can simply increase the number of researchers. And this is obviously going to detract away from other jobs, such as your maintenance drones and your uh, tech drones. Your units will generally go as high as possible in the job hierarchy so they're going to go for leadership first then they're going to go for the complex jobs etc so that's why you need to basically limit the number of researchers just so you can balance your energy but nevertheless this is an incredibly powerful strategy and you should be one of the greatest producers of research in the game so if you're interested guys started off with a few um enemies around me and I basically managed to take an enemy empire down here, slowly, and everyone else sort of jumped in and sort of piled in and took this area. Then there was another empire in the, in the middle, which I've just integrated. So actually, we've got quite a lot of territory here. So the cool thing about being a rogue surveyor is you get a huge amount of unity, and you also get a bonus to your complex drone output based on the number of biotrophies and the happiness and things. So actually this is an incredibly powerful build, build generally. Anyway guys, I hope you found this interesting and good luck playing Stellaris. Uh, do like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and let me know if you want more content like this.